In MuleSoft, there isn't a specific component called a multicasting router. However, Mule provides functionalities to achieve message multicasting, which involves sending a message to multiple destinations concurrently. Here are two common approaches for multicasting messages in MuleSoft. 1. Scatter Gather Pattern This is the recommended approach for multicasting in MuleSoft 4. It leverages two primary components. Scatter, this component replicates the incoming message and routes each copy to a separate subflow. These subflows can be independent or share data using a correlation ID. Gather, this component collects responses from all subflows and aggregates them into a single message. You can configure how the results are combined, e.g., list, first successful response. Benefits of Scatter Gather Parallel processing enables concurrent processing of messages in the subflows, potentially improving overall throughput. Flexibility. Subflows can have independent logic or interact with different destinations. Error handling. MuleSoft offers mechanisms for handling errors that might occur in individual subflows. 2. Recipient list router, Mule 3. In Mule versions prior to Mule 4, the recipient list router was a component used for multicasting. It allowed you to specify a list of destinations, e.g., URLs, endpoints, and route the message to each one sequentially. Limitations of Recipient List Router Sequential processing Messages are sent to destinations one after another, which can be slower than parallel processing. Limited functionality Offers less flexibility compared to scatter gather for handling responses and error scenarios. Key Points Scatter Gather is the preferred approach for multicasting in Mule Soft 4. Recipient List Router, Mule 3, provides basic multicasting functionality but has limitations. Mule Soft offers features for error handling and response aggregation in both approaches. Additional considerations. Asynchronous versus synchronous multicasting. Scatter Gather allows for both asynchronous and synchronous communication between the main flow and subflows. The recipient list router typically operates synchronously. Data weave. Data weave expressions can be used within scatter gather and recipient list router configurations to define dynamic routing logic or manipulate message content. By understanding these approaches, you can effectively implement message multicasting in your MuleSoft applications to distribute messages to multiple destinations and process responses efficiently.